Hey, this is Paolo from the MB Academy and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make leads like the ones in the track Time Warp by Subfocus, the Dimension Remix. So this is the original track. And this is my recreation. But before we get started with the video, if you want to get access to a lot of free samples and presets, you can join the DMB Academy free access, the link is in the description below. Also, if you want to get the presets and the project file from this video, you can become a member of Preset Pass, the link is in the description below. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Alright, so before getting started, first we're going to take a look at the melody. So this is the MIDI that you have to copy if you want to follow along with the video. This is what it sounds like with a default saw wave. And now let's jump into Serum. Okay, so here I have an initialized patch and the first thing we're going to do is to set up our oscillators. So we're gonna turn on B and the noise and we're gonna select the direct output on the noise oscillator and we're also gonna turn on the filter. So this is what it should sound like. We need to route oscillator B and the noise through the filter now. And then the principle behind the sound is to use bandpass filters to create accents on all of the harmonics of this saw wave and then modulate those filters and put distortion after them. So we're gonna add a bandpass filter with a 24 decibels per octave reduction and then we're gonna boost the resonance and move the cutoff. As you can see this creates a movement that is similar to the lead in the track. So next we're gonna add a lot of unison on both oscillators 10 on oscillator B and 16 on oscillator A. This creates a lot of wideness in the sound. Now we're going to boost the octave on oscillator B just to have more harmonics and then we're going to set another fall into all the levels of the oscillators. We're going to set this LFO on trigger and we're going to create a shape like this. All right, so once we have this, let's go into the effects section and we're going to turn on the distortion. And now we're just going to boost the drive a lot. Cool. And that is it for Serum. It's a very simple setup, but the magic happens on the post processing. But before we get there, we're just going to find a sweet spot in the cutoff of the filter. around 500 Hertz is good. And then we can modulate this as we create the progression in the melody. So to achieve the classic sound of all these leads, we're gonna use an amp and we're gonna hit Control G to group it. And then we're gonna create a wet chain and a dry chain. We're gonna remove the amp from the dry chain. And on the wet chain, we're going to load an EQ and then we're gonna use this EQ to select only the harmonics that we want to accentuate in this lead. So for example, that can be from the range of 1K to 5K. We're gonna set these two bands to only give us those frequencies. And we can move this through the frequency spectrum depending on the frequencies or the harmonics that we want to keep. We can also create resonances. And as you can see, this can create that classic distorted sound of the leads. Next, we're gonna mix this with the dry signal and experiment with the cutoff of the band. That seems to be good. Next, we're going to add trash 2, and then we're gonna turn on the multiband mode and move the cutoff of the high band to 5K. And then we're going to use the wave shaping to boost the highs. Then we can go back into the parallel chain and play with the mix of the wet signal. Next, we're going to add an EQ to cut some unnecessary frequencies. Now 
and then boost some of the mids. Next we're going to add some reverb. And next we're going to add one more EQ, but this is not going to be a classic mixing EQ. This is going to be a sound design type of EQ because we're going to use a bell like this and we're going to modulate the frequency cutoff like this to achieve that movement that the original track has. So let's right click and create an automation on the sound. Let's create something like this. If you can't hear it, you can boost the gain and then keep playing with the frequency. And then fine tune this. That's cool. This adds a lot of movement into the sound, as you can see. So this is a part where you have to experiment and find what works for your track. Here it is. So now let's play this. Let's bring the gain a little bit lower. And now let's play with the EQ that goes before this weird sound design EQ. We need some frequencies on this area because as you can see from 1k to 5k there's a lot but then from 6.5k to 20k there seems to be not enough frequencies there so let's just add an erosion we're gonna set it to noise and then we're gonna set it to around 15k we can also change it into a wide noise if we want this to be more stereo An alternative to the erosion can be a Able Clutter plugin. You can set it to noise, click Enhance, boost the range, and then shape it this way. Here's the foreman. Bring the release down, and then play with the dry and wet. For now, we're going to use actually both. We're going to bring the erosion to a lower amount and leave the vocoder on. There you go. And next to add the really cool rhythm at the end of the melody, we're going to use an auto pan. We're going to bring the amount up to 80%, but actually we're going to be automating this. So it only happens in the last part of the melody. And then let's bring the rate. And then let's bring the phase all the way down. Let's change the rate to BPM synced. And then let's change the offset and play with all these key parameters. There you go. You can always automate the amount to be on specific moments of the melody. This is cool. Awesome. Last, we're gonna add a saturator just to soft clip the sound and then a final EQ to cut any unnecessary sub. Now let's hear this in context. Sounds really nice. So that is going to be it for this sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any of future videos. And again, if you want to get access to a preset in the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. Or if you want a lot of free samples and presets, you can join the DMB Academy free access. The link is in the description below. 
So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.